Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here. In this month's tech tip, we're gonna talk about adding lights to your decoder. Now, when we're wiring in our decoder into the model, we have to add the lights. Now, one of the things that's really common is the blue wire is traditionally the positive or the plus 14. Now, this power coming to the blue wire is traditionally rectified track voltage. So it's about a volt less than what your actual track voltage is. Now, as I mentioned, it's indicated with the blue wire on most of your universal style decoders. Now, on our TSU PNP, you'll actually notice that the tab on the end of the decoder is actually an oval-shaped soldering pad. And this is indicated as your V plus or your voltage common for your lighting. Now, once we get our wire identified, the white wire, the yellow wire, the brown wire, the green wire, and so forth are actually the negative lead to your lights. And so when you're adding in your 12 volt or 14 volt light bulb, you just simply hook up between the blue and the white wire for your headlight, for example, and it'll work just fine. But if you choose to use smaller light bulbs, for example, volt and a half lights, which are very popular with modelers, you'll actually want to calculate a resistor. Now, in this case, we're going to have to go back to high school physics. Voltage equals current times resistance. And we solve for R so that that way we can calculate a resistor to use. Now, the resistor we just simply hook up in line on the white wire. And then make sure you get some insulative tubing and heat shrink tubing to slide over to protect your joints once you make the connections. Now, on your PNP boards, these board re replacement style, we actually do have a plus 1.5 volt common that actually is pre-regulated for volt and a half. So if you're using this in some of the popular models such as Athern and others that are using volt and a half light bulbs, you can actually mount this in your model. This now becomes your plus 1.5. So you go from here to your lights and then you go to the headlight tab, your reverse light tab and your FX3, 4, 5 and 6 located around the decoder. No resistors in this case are needed because this pre-regulates the voltage at volt and a half. Now this is used in place of the oval shaped soldering pads on the end of the decoder. The advantage here is you can actually use a combination of volt and a half lights and LEDs depending on how you've decided to light up your model. So now the question becomes what do we do when we want to use LEDs? Now when we're doing LEDs we're actually going to use the V plus common but remember we need a resistor. Now the advantage to LEDs is they're more current sensitive as opposed to the voltage sensitive. So if you use a resistor that's slightly too high, you actually will slightly dim the LED, but it won't extinguish the light. So in this case, traditionally when I'm doing installations on my own models, I'll use a thousand ohm resistor, which is a little more than what's necessary, but it'll actually give you a little bit of protection, especially if you change layouts, uh, go from one layout to another with different voltages. So remember, the positive side is going to tie into this, the V+. Then you're going to go to your LED's positive lead. Then you're going to go to the negative lead, and you're going to go to each of these terminals, the headlight, the backup light, and so forth. But again, make sure you add your resistor. And in this case, you can actually add the resistor into the FX3, FX4, FX5 terminal by simply soldering it in place. And again, make sure you use your heat shrink tubing to insulate your connection. Now for more information and detailed installation tips, be sure to use our installation guide that you can find on the manual section of our website at Soundtracks.com.